Hi, in this video, we will see the properties of exponents. Now, assuming a and b are greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1 and x and y are real numbers. The properties of the exponents are, first property is a to the power x times a to the power y is equal to a to the power x plus y. Now, we have an example if we have 2 to the power 3 times 2 to the power 5. So, this will become uh, 2 since here a and a, here 2 and 2, these are the same basis. So, this will become 2 to the power 3 plus 5. So, this will become 2 to the power 8 is the first property. Now, the second one is if we have 1 our a to the power x is equal to a to the power minus x means this exponent 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 when taken to the numerator becomes negative for example if we have 2 to the power 5 so this will become 2 to the power minus 5 now third one is third one is if we have a to the power x or a to the power y so this will become a to the power x minus y means when the bases are same in fractions in the ratios then powers are subtracted here when bases are same when multiplied with each other then the exponents may be added here when they are in the form of p by q or in division form the exponents are subtracted when base are same this means if we have 2 to the power 6 over 2 square so this will become 2 to the power 6 minus 2 here bases are same and powers are subtracted here bases are where same and powers are added now uh, the difference is here it is in the division form here it is in multiplication form now the fourth property is if we have a to the power x bracket to the power y this is equal to a to the power x into y that means if we have 2 cube into 4 uh, to the power 4 sorry this is equal to 2 into 3 into 4 to the power that means this is 2 3 4 are 12. Now, similarly, if we have another property is a to the power x times b to the power x is equal to a b to the power x. So, this will become, for example, we have 2 to the power 8 times 3 to the power 8. This will become 2 into 3 to the power Add. when the exponents are same the base are multiplied here so this will become 6 to the power 8 one must go thoroughly with these and practice to make it clear now sixth one is if we have a to the power x over b to the power x this is equal to a over b to the whole of x now this a to the power x and b to the power x these are factored out and raised wholly as exponent here for example if we have 2 square our let us say 3 square okay so this will become 2 our 3 square now these were the properties of the exponents in this video we will see the properties of the logarithms now for a x and y positive real numbers n and a real numbers and a is greater than one then the first property of log is log of x y to the base a is equal to log of x to the base a plus log of 
y to the base uh, for example if we have uh, log of 12 into 13 and base is 2 for example then it can be written as log of 12 to the base 2 plus log of 13 to the base 2 here log of x y is equal to log of x plus log of y here log of 12 into 13 is equal to log of 12 plus log of 13 so multiplication becomes the addition now the second property is a log of log of x over y to the base a is equal to log of x to the base a minus log of y to the base a now if we have a logarithm in the form of x over y for example we have log of 2 divided by 3 with the base 10 then it can be written as log of 2 to the base 10 minus log of 3 to the base 10 now if it is in the division this will become here this will become out the subtraction now coming to the third uh, property that is log of a x to the power n is equal to n log of a x sorry log of x to the base a for example if we have log of 5 to the base 2 and here 5 is uh, uh it is 5 cube here then this will become now here this n will become coefficient so here 3 will become coefficient 3 log of 5 with the base 2 now the fourth one is if we have log of uh, log of let us say we have x uh, raised power sorry for uh, nth power with sorry it is here log of x and it is nth root with base a then this is equal to 1 over n log of uh, log of x with base a so here this is the nth root of x now this translates into this nth root will become 1 by n log of a log of x to the base a let us say we have an example like um, log of under root of 12 uh, and we have the fifth root and base is 2 this will translate into this 5 will become 1 over 5 log of log of 12 to the base 2 or this can be written as uh, if i expand this it can also be written like uh, log of log of uh, under root 12 can be written as uh, this is 12 uh, 1 by fifth to the base 2 because here uh, this under root 12 sorry the fourth uh, fifth root is it can be written also like 1 over 5 so this will translate into 1 over 5 log of 12 with base 2 so basically this uh, property is similar to uh, to this property here okay So please subscribe to our YouTube channel Econ Maths for more videos on mathematical economics. Also comment and share.